This natural phenomenon is one of the most well-known destructive natural forces that affects our world. Whether it is Japan or Haiti or somewhere closer to home, we see the pictures and read about it in the news. Earthquakes cause devastating damage. In an instant, they can level buildings that took years to construct. They pose a serious threat to structures and the people who occupy them. For this video, we will focus on how and why buildings of different heights fall down during an earthquake. Here are some factors that may cause buildings to fall down. The magnitude of the earthquake, the duration of the earthquake, the characteristics of the soil, the structural integrity of the building, but we will focus most on resonance. What is resonance? It's the condition under which a small force, repeated with the right frequency, causes large oscillations that can continue to grow in amplitude. Examples include swinging on swing sets and stringed instruments. Clearly, buildings entering into resonance would be a very bad thing. We can see how resonance is a selective factor in this inverted pendulum demonstration. As you can see, when a force is applied to one of the pendulums and results in a vibratory motion, only one other pendulum, the pendulum of the same height, enters into resonance and vibrates with the first pendulum. What do you think? Is it always the tallest building that falls down during an earthquake? It's counterintuitive, but the answer is no. We can use our knowledge of resonance and conduct an experiment to explain why. For this experiment, we set up three model buildings of different heights and will simulate an earthquake by pushing and pulling a rolling cart. Now we know that if we move the cart to purposely cause vibrations with that frequency, we should be able to get that building to enter into resonance and fall. We can monitor the frequency and amplitude of the earthquake we produce with the QCN Live software that turns my laptop into a real-time seismograph. See? Thanks to resonance, we can cause the medium-sized building to fall down, even while the small and tall buildings remain standing. Wondering if this is just a pointless demonstration and not something that happens in the real world? Well, think again. This actually happens. The period of an earthquake that hit Mexico City in 1985 caused buildings of 4 to 16 stories to collapse while in the same area, much higher and lower buildings remain standing. We now know the tallest building is not always the most dangerous, nor the shortest building always the safest. So if you find yourself in a building during an earthquake, follow normal safety procedures and keep in mind, resonance matters. <laughs>